So what I'm doing here is I'm putting together the reload engines and you got a bunch of different parts to go with it. You got delay charge, your propellant, and then at the end you got the ejection charge. And put one of these things together really isn't all that hard. You got a little bit of grease. I'm going to give you a series of O-rings here that you have to lube up. And the first one goes up into the top like this. You want to make sure it's flush. And after that, you set up your delay charge. You kind of want to run your finger through here to get rid of any burrs or anything like that that might stop it from going in right. Then this is supposed to slide up in here, but for some reason they always give me fits. There we go. And this particular one takes a little spacer that goes in the bottom. Kind of push that down a little bit to get it flat. Okay. Then that goes up in here with the spacer pointing down. Got another o ring. A little skinny one like this. Oops. Just loop it up real quick. That goes down over here. And screws on like this. That's the top part of the case. We have a little flat disc that slides down in here. Again, you gotta make sure it's flat and flush with it. Your propellant. Hopefully, we'll get down in there. Okay. Whoa. Does this have any bigger spacer rings in it? No? Hmm. Okay. Then after that, you should put in your ignition wick. You say there's no other rings, okay. No. So You don't actually have to put that in now. Well, you're supposed to. Makes it easier in the end. If I can get one to come out here. There we go. Take that out. You got the black part. You stick that up there where the notch is. And there's no spacer for that. Until it hits the top. Yeah, that kind of surprises me too. But anyway, after you do that, you got another O-ring. You're sure that that space don't go on the other end? Huh? Oh, there we go. Yeah. The, the grain went down and the, the liner stayed up. Yeah. I'm going to go around the other side of you. Right. You got the third air ring. It slides down in here. No. That's wrong. Snyder nozzle, and then the O ring. Then you put on the housing bottom, and if everything's locked in there right, it should thread on pretty easily. This is one of the one of the F thirty nines I bought you, right? Yeah, this is an F thirty nine nine, so this is gonna have a little bit more kick to it whenever it first takes off. But it probably will go up about the same height as the F twenty four. And if the fins stay on, we're good. Yes, having the fins stay on is good. Now after you got that done, you take your ejection charge, you gotta be careful that you put the small part down so that the grains don't fall out. You just pop that little top off like this. There's a little thread there on the end. You just pop it in. 
There you go. That's the completed structure. And then, as a little tip that we learned, you take this plastic cap, make a little hole in it, like so. Set the air pressure. Can come out. I make mine a little bigger. <laughs> well, you take your wick. And kind That's of actually the electrodes. Electrode wick, kind of put it like this, and then you just very slightly put that on. That holds it in place so it don't fall out. And that's the completed engine. All right. You can stop it.